Welcome back, everybody. Today, I thought we'd look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0, Episode 3, Clash, the Strongest Monster. So, yeah, uh, what we saw last episode was intense, you know, and someone in the comments section made a good point about that episode. Uh, the reason why everyone keeps accepting these games is, one, their egos, and two, that's just how it works in the world. I mean, think about it. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters series, everyone just kind of, like, accepts, oh, we're going to play a children's card game in order to... <laughs> In order to solve all our problems. And well, yeah, that's how they resolve their differences. Ah, you know, it's not... It, it'd be nice if that's how we actually settle things in the real world, but we don't. You know, we settle it with fists, or with knives, or with force multipliers. But, you know... You can't always be that way, can you? <laughs> YouTube, it is a fake knife. It's rubber. Just making sure. Y'all don't think it's going to be, you know... Uh, above 18 or anything. No. I could probably, you know, end someone's life with this thing, but I won't. But anyway, be sure to leave a like down below and click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. If you don't, so be it. Um, why don't we just get started then? Alright, so what's going on here? A card. Over in Domino City High. Oh, is that who I think it is? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure it's exactly who I think it is. Seto Kaiba. Clash, the strongest monster. Yep, it's Seto Kaiba with his green hair. Is the blue eyes white dragon? No, dark magician. Dual monsters. Oh, okay, no, it was definitely blue eyes. Wow, magic and wizards. This is uh this is what it was originally called. It's crazy that they just took this concept and turned it into a real game. I already know all the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, for the most part, so eh. Yeah, you'd be surprised, Anzu. There's a... American just came by, just one car. Oh. Mania, short for Maniac. <laughs> You'd be surprised just how insane people will get over this, Anzu. Forgot to say, cards are currency in a lot of areas. Alright, take it easy there, Honda. Wow, he was just saying all that in front of the teacher. It's exactly who I think it is. Seto Kaiba. Is he the CEO here as well? Oh, he's the heir. All right. Don't get uh don't get the wrong idea, Yugi. Oh, he's coming off as a nice friendly person. That's interesting. That is so weird seeing him smile and be happy. 
I know it's just a facade, but even so. He's setting him up for a trap. Yeah, I seriously doubt that's what's going to happen. Whatever happened to this character, Miho? She's part of the main cast. Makes me wonder what they did with her in Duel Monsters, which is probably nothing. That's capitalism for you. This is really weird. I didn't realize they made Kaiba such a nice person at first. Obviously, it's a facade, but even so. That's that I am about to turn this off at this rate. For now, for now. Wow. Duel Monsters was really weird back then. He won the national tournament, yeah. Amusement uh, Park, Kaiba Land. Oh god, Honda's mad. <laughs> yeah. The blue eyes, white dragon. Or the dark magician. Or from what I understand, uh, Duel Monsters was really popular in America, and it was just barely getting to Japan. By this point, yeah. So they took, they, this is probably how they adapted episode one. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. So this is how they adapted the first episode of Duel Monsters. Blue Eyes Dragon, okay. Okay, we got it. You're a beautification member. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, wow. No. <laughs> Yeah, Arthur Hopkins. Yeah, he doesn't care about that. Okay, obviously he's faking. I get that. Even so. And he's gonna beat him up and everything. Yeah, we already know how this goes. Sort of. Yeah, 
So this is how it originally was. It's like you played in different fields and that gives you uh, different advantages. They didn't really think through the actual rules. So this is how it worked in Duel Monsters. That's why it was a it was a weird thing, like different kinds of fields and everything. That's really weird. Ah, I'm gonna have to go play some Yu-Gi-Oh after this. It's been a while. Is he just going to snatch it out of his hand right there? Don't tell me he's just going to steal it right now. Oh, a copy. Okay, so Jinochi and Honda saw that. At least Kaiba's not, like, beating the fuck out of somebody here. ちゃんと分かってんだよ。お前が遊戯のカードを釣り替えたことはな。ひどいな。僕がそんなこと<笑> Don't even try. Oh, he's got bodyguards. Well, hey, he threw the first punch. Okay, didn't add insult to injury. Gone full circle, huh? How did he know? Oh, so he did notice. Does he actually get it back in this version? And there's his true colors. Okay, time to switch. Time to switch. Time to play the Yami game. There we go. And there's Yami Yugi. Alright, well, he's shocked. <laughs> he just beat the fuck out of both of them? 
パートとして勝負を挑んでるんだろうな。正気か。Yuki knows how to play dual monsters. Kaiba's personality is still weird. He's still like, uh, he's a snob, but even so. Alright, let's see. Hitatsu meet giant? No, gargoyle. And then you go play winged dragon, guardian of the. Oh! Bringing the monsters to life! It's before holograms become a thing. Dark Dragon. The rules for this make no sense, but okay. That was easy. The card is destroyed, huh? Battle Ox. Oh, Minotosaurus. Okay, I I don't know. Yeah, very weird. Very weird. Y'all know my channel's based off of a Yu-Gi-Oh card by the name of Shark Knight 101. Well, 101 Shark Knight, 101 Silent Honor Arc. Magical Elf? I forget the actual name. いきなりいいカードを引いた。ここは使わないで寝かしておけよ。魔法カード。やつにこれ以上の力が加わったら対抗できない。次のカード。愛と。こいつじゃダメだ。では行くぜ。さっきの魔法カードは。巨大か。
That's a little weird. Well, that's ridiculous. They do in a Yami game. I'm pretty sure in original Duel Monsters you can't actually attack directly. Revive of the Dead, also known as Monster Reborn. He can bring back Blue Eyes Dragon. Wow, okay, that's a plot twist. Gremlin? <laughs> uh, reminds me of an old friend of mine. I miss her. Wait, what? Oh, so it ends in a draw, which means... Oh, it's the first time he actually goes in a Yami game and nothing actually happens to anyone. Wow. Amazing how that set up their entire relationship for the next four seasons after this. I mean, he cheated, but even so. And this version, he doesn't rip it in half. Uh, that was weird. Found, right. They still haven't noticed anything. Oh, what do you know? Honda's actually uh, doing okay. Uh, well done, Honda. You managed to keep her right. Oh! <laughs> That's hilarious. Is he ended up killing her? Is that why she's not in Duel Monsters? And that was Yu Gi Oh! Season 0, Episode 3. So that was the introduction of Duel Monsters in the series. Strange. Very strange. I mean, just like the way it was played. It seems like you just take the card and place it down. And it's just a matter of luck. But no, I... Nobody really thought the rules out for that one. I don't know. Ah, uh, what, what do I have to say about that? It's just like, Kaiba was obviously a very friendly person. Obviously, we see in the beginning he beat up the other guy to get the card. So when it comes to the lore of Duel Monsters, what I understand is that it was very popular in America at this point. And it was just barely getting introduced to Japan. So I guess they just had their first national championship. Or he went to America and won there. But no, I think he won the Japanese national championship. One common misconception from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters is that Kaiba was the, was the world champion. He wasn't. No. He was the favorite to win the Japanese national championship. And then go off to Duelist Kingdom and face off against Pegasus himself. That was the idea. Now we have ended up winning the national championship instead. You know, in Sector Haga. And it, they played it off as regional championship. I'm like, there's no way it's a regional championship. And Bandit Keith was called the Intercontinental Champion, even though that made zero sense. I'm pretty sure they just, like, stole that from WWF at the time. But instead, what actually, he was the American National Champion. And then after his demise, uh, Rebecca become whatever her, I guess Rebecca's her name. She becomes National Champion. Yeah. It's very weird how, how this all turned out. I mean, the rules for Duel Monsters here and then just like championships and everything. It's all, it's all weird. I don't know. Yugi is known as King of Games because he defeated the creator of the game itself. I'm not even sure how that works. They call him the Duel King, I'm, I'm sure. Ugh. 
I don't know. Like the more you look into the show, especially with four kids edits, the more you see how stupid it is. Uh, I still need to watch Dark Side of Dimensions. I haven't done that yet, but I will in in due time. So I hope you all enjoyed that uh, that reaction video, and be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Leave a comment. If you don't, well, you're gonna make me upset. Okay, I'm at 69 subscribers. Come on, give me 70, 71, 72. How about 100 by the end of the summer? That's still my goal. Have a good one, everybody.